What's going on YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Hey, check this out. I'm feeling good today. I lost some merch last week. And um, I'm just gonna keep it funky. I didn't think I was gonna get it back. You know what I'm saying? I lost it on public transportation. I left it on the train. And I thought it was a corner. But you know what? I just came from retrieving it. And I'm happy. All right, now in this video, I'm gonna talk about just doing you. All right, I'm gonna get into that right after my intro. Now check this out, y'all. Yeah, I wanted to make this video and just pretty much say, you know, do, when it comes to your brand, do what works best for you. Like, I ain't gonna even lie. When I lost this package, I was upset because these are orders that people wanted. And I wanted it, I wanted to get them to them by um, this holiday that just passed, which was the 4th of July. But, since I lost the package, I couldn't do that, so I was stressing. But I got over it in my mind. I just wrote it off as a loss. You know what I'm saying, I said to myself, "Well, you know, sometimes you got to take L's for future wins." So I'm here now. I'm built off principles and energy. I always give out good energy, and energy always come back to me. That's good. So. I feel like this situation is a sign of good energy, you know? I'm making these videos, I'm helping people build their brands, and that's a positive. Because a lot of people don't want to give you any information about brand building. That's why your boy is here. All right, so let me just move along. Um, I was asked a week, no, I was asked like two weeks ago by another, uh, individual that owns a clothing brand you know he came up to me he's like yo man he was like yo because he see you know i had the the nice logos and stuff on my t-shirts chanel doubt everything and he like yo uh how can you sell it why are you selling these for so so cheap he's like yo this is easy a 40 45 dollar t i'm like because I have no overhead. I have no overhead, it's just me. The majority of the time, I'm making all these pieces myself or the manufacturers that I'm that I'm using, you know, um, I have relationships with and, you know, I go back and forth with them over pricing. I, just, I don't accept the first price that they throw out there to me, you know? So, in order for me to keep my prices low, uh, I gotta make sure I'm getting, you know, pieces at a low minimum or a lower cost per se. I do works work. I do what works best for me, okay. And I'll t I told y'all before, like my main goal is doubling up. Okay? If I'm doubling up, I'm good. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to, you know, price gouge and kill kill people's pa uh, pockets. I want, every time I drop, every time I drop something, I want my customers coming back. Every time. I want them coming back. I want them coming back for the, for the quality. And I want, them, I want them coming back for the prices as well. So, for you to tell me that you can't afford to lower the price of your merch, hey, that's an issue that's on you. <laughs> you know, that don't got nothing to do with me. You might have to restructure you know, your marketing or your manufacturing or uh, your suppliers, do what you gotta do. But at, the end of the, but at the end of the day, do what works best for you. I do what works best for my pockets, okay? And you gotta do what works best for your pockets. Believe that. All right, so, also, another thing, even though you know I got my own personal brand. 
you know, I still uh, reach out to and try to help other local brands in my area, and I support them as well. I'm not a hater, man. This ain't no, this ain't no rap shit. I mean, we in competition with each other at the end of the day, yeah, but this ain't no fake ass rap shit where I gotta try to outdo you and like bash your brand because your brand ain't uh, where mine is at or, or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? It's all love with me. So, once again, that all, that all goes back to energy too. The energy you put out is the energy you're gonna receive. And I know I said this before, you got the people that get all butthurt saying, oh nah, yo, ain't nobody supporting my brand, man. F everybody, F my family, F my friends. Bro, that's bad energy. That's bad energy. You don't want to put that type of energy out there. Excuse me if it get loud. Why are you trying to put that type of energy out there? Now people really ain't gonna wanna rock with your brand. Cause you just dissed them. You know what I'm saying? And it could be indirect, but you dissed them. You just dissed your family. You just dissed your friends. You just dissed potential customers. Cause you put now some weird ass energy. Hold on, sorry. City man, excuse the noise. You know, there's it's construction going on everywhere. So, once again, yo, you always gotta check your energy, man. Check your energy at the door. Make sure you're on point all the time. And, like I said, once again, do what works best for you. Don't, you watching me, I'm teaching you, but if you can't afford to do what I'm doing, hey, try something else. Take notes and just move on. You know, it ain't the end all be all. Like I'm in the process of um, designing some new stuff and working with manufacturers and I'm making sure all the prices are right right now so I can give y'all the right, my, my customers the right prices. All right, so till next time, y'all. Hop in the shade real quick. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe before this video ends. And let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit, basically. Pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.